Good morning, everybody. Kirk Yonke here in the Fox 31 Denver newsroom on this uh, Thursday morning. Man, we're getting closer to the weekend. Isn't that fantastic? I hope your Thursday's off to a great start. Hope you got your uh, cup of joe or whatever gets you going in the morning and you're rocking and rolling. So here's a little bit of a breakdown of some of the stuff that we're working on for you this morning as we get ready to uh, get on the air here at 5 o'clock with Good Day Colorado. First of all, uh, we told you yesterday we had breaking news late on Good Day. Uh, about 8.45, 8.50 yesterday, actually, that there was a triple murder in Adams County. Three people found dead in a home. And now we've got more information about what exactly police think happened, uh, who police have taken into custody, and who police out there in Adams County are still trying to track down this morning. So we'll break that down for you. Also, we have the first person who's died from the flu here in Colorado this year. And uh, Chris Jose is live with what, what you need to know about the flu this year because there is so, uh, an interesting change here. A lot of people got the flu shot. Well, now experts are saying there's a strain of the flu that this flu shot that you got doesn't actually cover. So obviously you want to keep your family safe, keep your kids and, and uh, anyone in your family really safe from uh, having serious complications from the flu. So we'll break down what you need to do to make sure that happens. Some fun stuff we're talking about this morning. Have you seen this yet? This is, this is kind of funny. That is Bilbo, Bilbo from uh, The Hobbit, but it's actually Stephen Colbert. Did you know he's a fanatic? He's a Lord of the Rings Hobbit fanatic. He's a Tolkien fanatic, essentially. And so uh, Entertainment Weekly said, hey, will you write an article for us about the new Hobbit movie? And so he did. And the cover is Colbert as the Hobbit characters. There's actually a couple of covers, so we're going to show you the rest of them, and uh, we thought that was kind of fun. Also, something we're talking about this morning, who do you give a tip to around the holiday? Where does the line draw? Thank you. Tip your anchor. Thank tip your two bucks. That's it. That's all I get. Hey. I'm worth at least three next year. Tip your local news anchor. Now, seriously, though, where do you draw the line? Do you tip the trash guy? Do you tip the postal person? Do you tip the UPS driver? Do you tip the FedEx guy? Do you tip, I don't know, Brooke tips everybody. How much am I getting? You don't get a tip. I don't get a tip. I have to deal with you every day. I know. The trash guy comes once That's a week. I'm here five tip. days a week. Just saying. So uh, it's always an interesting conversation this time of the year, and, and we'll kind of give you a breakdown of what the experts suggest in terms of, of tipping and all that such. So uh, we will have that. We'll also, of course, have your weather. Tomorrow is going to be crazy. Jen says we may break a record or at least tie that record, almost 70 degrees on Friday. But then things change sometime this weekend. You got to tune in to, to to make sure you have your plans set for the weekend according to this interesting change that's happening in the weather. We hope to see you on TV from five to nine on Fox Thirty One Denver. I'm Kirk Yonke, and uh, happy Thursday, everybody. See you on the television.